they were directed because they don't even know the exact location of the school. The service, some service chiefs, Inspector General of Police, have been redeployed to that area. What feedbacks are you getting? From well, um, we are still compiling the report, and uh, I'm telling you with all the sincerity of purpose. A committee was set up by the National Security Advisor comprising the armed forces, police, and other security agencies. And the, the committee has been given two weeks to give their report, and they are on it. Now, have you talked to, I mean, you should be getting intelligence reports right now of what happened or what oh, might be happening at the moment. Of course, I do get daily reports, daily reports from the component commander and the service chiefs, what is happening. And like I said, we have intensified our efforts and all the civilians devices we have have been committed in that direction. See, a human rights activist, Mrs. Aisha Wakil, recently said that a faction of the Boko Haram sect uh, contacted her over the release you know, of, of the girls. Well, it's, it's interesting to want to find out what is the government doing about that? Good. That is what you had the human right. You know, you see some of the things one has to be very careful before he takes it into a decision. We also thought that because of the heart, we have hit them hard, and they are looking how to get maybe some food items and money. That is why they went to this direction, thinking that maybe negotiation will be uh, on the side. But this time, no negotiation. We will ensure that whatever means we can do to rescue these girls will be done. You have been in contact with Mrs. Mrs. Wakil. No, she hasn't presented has uh, presented me any of us. Isn't that strange? Well, uh, of course, uh, the human rights. You said yes. Well, uh, my office is open. Like you come here, if she has anything to find out, she should come. One she would expect open. that the Minister of Defence would explore every option. Oh, but uh, there are so many options, like you said. The, every option. Yeah, of course, the intelligence, the military the human right, like you said, but if they don't bring off us, there are other key personnel that are doing that for me. At least the component commander is on ground there. He's the one to do that. And other uh, components of the ministry also has uh, open door policy. So she is she's, uh, she's suspected any time. And at any moment she wants to see me, we discuss. Uh, these type of issues. Are you saying you know? that if you get wind of any suspicious move, suspicious statement, or any key person that could have you know, a key information about what you're dealing with, you explore no option about that? Why you not? allow that you, you want them to make the first move? No, 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 why not? Like you are telling me now, that I'm hearing it from you. So if uh, you, you say so, I, I cannot invite her. That's interesting. Yes. Is there a timeline for the, the safe return of these girls? Well, this type of issues have no timeline. And even if it has, we only give it to the forces. Okay, by social means, we want you to give us uh, an output of what you've been doing. That one is timeline. But for this type kind of issues, cannot fix it and say, no, you must bring them. By social date, no. so you can't but you can only that in the next twelve months, in the next six I'm months, not in the next three months. It's not possible. It can be earlier, maybe a week. It can be two weeks, but we are on it, and I'm telling you with all sense of sincerity, we are closing on, on them. Is it possible to provide security for all the schools, especially the female institutions which in the hospitals? Which type of security? There are level of security. You see, even from the locals, they provide security, and that is what is happening before. And these are some of the few, uh, things that is happening that we want to activate. From the local locals to the, there are nine levels of administrative in the villages. You have the immediate Meangwa, uh, or you call it the local uh, district, to the next person, to the up to the emirs. There are nine levels of uh, district. So these are, some are things that we are thinking that they should come into being. It's been done before. If a village, in a village, anybody that enters, they will know whether he's a villager, I mean, from that village or not. 
So these are the intelligence that we are looking for, that we should be informed. Because you cannot deploy every village, you deploy a soldier, or you deploy... Uh, are we talking about every person. village or... Uh, or village, or you are talking about villages. Uh, schools? Yes. There are in every village that is school, whether primary, secondary, or, I mean, tertiary, or... So how do you prevent such, uh, 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 I mean, such things from... It's happening? through this local wow. intelligence that I'm talking about. That is it that we need. It. And along the line, the hierarchies. And I'm telling you, as we are talking, we have been able to establish, especially in the Northeast, that at least there should be an interoperator in most of the areas that we are suspecting these people to be around. Interesting. Thank you very much, Mr. Mansour Danali, for coming on the program. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you for your mails and tweets, as always. Keep sending in your views and comments using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also, be sure to share anything happening within your locality. And don't forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuke. See you again.